Last time on Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. <laughs> I want Alm to walk by and like face him and whisper in his ear, I bet your stats are shit. <laughs> I love all these random soldiers and then someone who's obviously recruitable. Greetings, friends. The Deliverance welcomes you. You're a jolly fellow. I am Forsyth, Sir Clive's lieutenant and advisor. And jolly cooperation to you. Together, let us take back the castle and return Sophia to her people. Why not? Where'd Python go? I miss him. <laughs> Blue Markiplier. I've word that Emperor Rudolph's nephew is visiting Sophia Castle. Not only is the lad a general, but he's also first in line to the Regalian throne. That's due to the Emperor not having children of his own, you see. Anyway, he's said to be tough as nails. I sure hope I don't have to face him. Will that be Alm's rival? Sir Clive's lover, Lady Matilda, used to fight by his side in the Knights of Sophia. Lady Matilda? She was every inch as strong as him and clever as an old cat to boot. But Desay took her captive and now keeps her locked up in his fortress. He's made many attempts to use her as leverage to force our surrender. But still, Sir Clive refuses to submit. One day Desay will tire of these games, and then she'll be in peril most dire. Knowing this, Sir Clive grows less bold as the days pass. Who can blame him? Yeah, it sounds like this army's on the brink of falling apart. Fernand's hatred for commoners is understandable. Aren't you related to that super Myrmidon that charges down the hill and tried to kill- Yeah, that's my twin brother. He, he can get like that. Best way to solve the problem, kill him. That's what I always did. The peasants living on his lands were starving because of the drought. They blamed Fernand for not providing for them and stormed his manor. His family died during the attack. Truly, a terrible thing. Oh, that does suck. Anyway, if we want to, we can actually do some class changing here. I, I don't know if I really want that though. Cause like he'll gain from it, but what if he can become other things though? Like, I think he might be better as something else. Because Myrmidon implies... I mean, he has the proper stats for a Myrmidon. And for some reason, that adds defense. And one movement. But all in all, I'm not sure. So I'm going to wait on that. And for him to turn him into a knight? I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. Because his his movement won't increase. I feel like he'd be better off as a cavalier. He already has very high defense. And I feel like I'd prefer a bunch of movement in these wide open maps over a stationary unit like that. So I'll wait on that too. Let's go to the back room. And I'm guessing more fountains? Yes. Alright, so we didn't actually take a look at... Um, Forsyth and Clive. So, where are they? Clive, how are you doing? You're level six? He's a cavalier, which helps. Forsyth? You're another soldier. With some very low bases. Why would I use you over... I mean, he's probably not terrible. He's probably more on the offensive side. Actually, he has more defense, too. I, I don't really know. Huh. I'll, I'll, I'll leave these two alone for now. <laughs> He's so far our only land unit, not that that really matters, but it's nice. Alright, so this is defense. I know where this is going. I want to at least give him that, but what's the other one? The other one's attack. I mean, by being more aggressive, we could get some more stuff done. He probably has a decent attack growth, doesn't he? Ah, uh, you know, I'll give it to Cliff anyway. The attack is nice. And then we'll give one more defense to, uh... I want to give that also to Grey, actually, because Grey seems to be... Like, people are targeting Grey like crazy because of how weak he is, and that just kind of sucks, honestly. So we're going to stop that for now. Alright, well, there's not much else we can do, so I guess we're just going to march on the castle then? No one's fatigued, so I guess we're okay. Oh, hey, Python. 
Want to come with us? Enough, are we? Well, take care. Don't let the tears bite. Huh? Am I coming with you? Well, I could, but I don't have to. How's about I just let you decide? Yeah, why not? Python, join me! Python, Python, let's see your stats. Maybe you're better than Tobin. Where'd he go? Python? Python. Maybe it's because we're in the dungeon. <laughs> I think that might be why. Combat artists. Awarded for using combat arts to gain the advantage in battle. Uh, renowned knight. Awarded for gaining renown across... Renown against the king... Across the kingdom of Zofia. So is that where we're going, huh? Onward to Zofia Castle. We must wrest the castle from the Chancellor's grasp. Lead us well, Alm. I'll do my best. Alright, first, can I look at Forsyth now? Or not Forsyth, Python. Why? Why is he here? But... What... what... What's the point of you? Seriously. I mean... To be honest, Tobin has had some pretty bad gross. I will be honest about that, but them bases. Why? <laughs> well, let's assault this castle for the first time. Liberation of Zofia Castle, 77th of Flostim, 401 VC. Okay, this is the thing I saw. I wonder who built this throne. It is marvelously comfortable. So you might not be able to hear it, but maybe a little. Um, this guy, I was looking this up the other day. I was actually looking up who is the voice actor for Igor from Persona. It's this guy. Why did I let it be wasted on that incompetent fool Lima for so long? Soon, the Regalian Empire will finish its conquest of Valentia. But why, though? And then I will rule from this throne as King of Zofia. Okay, so you just want it. That's why. <laughs> but first, I must crush those worms in the rebel army. And worms they are. You squash the blasted things into the muck, yet still more take their place. And now they dare march on the castle? They will pay for this insult in blood. Blood. I must know what or who gave them this second wind. Forgive me, Chancellor to say. We've captured a rebel in the forest. What? But Fernand is Clive's right-hand man. Wait, why'd that skip? I'm not even touching my 3DS. Okay. <laughs> why would he be wandering the woods without a detachment? I feel like that was super important. I didn't read what he just said. Is there a... Oh no, I don't want to accidentally skip the conversation. Oh, there we go. Forgive me, Chancellor, to say we've captured a rebel in the Forest of Lore. It's Ferdinand. Oh, he's super gonna defect, isn't he? He's just going to straight up defect. March, prisoner! Unhand me! I have cleansed myself of those rebel scum. What's this? Am I to believe you have left your precious deliverance? Deliverance? <laughs> yes, well, it seems you have a story to tell. My ears are yours, Sir Fernand. Damn you, Fernando. What? My son's grandson? Indeed. Why is that such a big deal, though? Like, I mean, it's a blood thing, but that doesn't make Alm the strongest man in the world. Clive has thrown all of our ideals at the feet of the unworthy. He's made the boy a figurehead just to leverage some decrepit hero's name. Well, I say, damn them all. There. You have my story. Now kill me and be done with it. But this doesn't make sense. Myson didn't have any. Ah. Oh. Now I see this for what it is. Rudolph, you villainous dastard. Huh? Silence. When I address you, you'll know it. I have decided your fate, Fernand. 
Killing you would be wasteful. Come with me. I will introduce you to your new master. A master more befitting of your ideals. New master? Wait! Explain yourself! So, he's gonna join them, the Zophians. Cutscene. For this game is. Okay, that's, that's an impression, impression made. Zofia Castle, we're finally here. Thanks to you, Alm. You should hold your head high as you command us on this great day. It will be a great day, won't it? I'm sure this is gonna go fine. Fellow soldiers, fight with me, today. Zofia's people reclaim her castle and her pride. So this is the so-called deliverance. Oh, that music, though. That is very, uh, insidious. Bear coot or bear cut? What a disheveled herd of clodhoppers. I couldn't agree more. Find a comfortable seat, Lord Bracoot. The Empire's finest Thank you for answering my question. need not trouble himself with such rabble. You may watch from on high as my finest troops cut them down like wheat. I may just take you up on that offer. Shall we, Renea? I have no desire to see such bloodshed. War is horrible. And I will make no spectacle of it. <laughs> I jest, my dear. Forgive me. I must take my leave. Yes, of course. I trust the Draco shield I lent will add to your already considerable strength. Well, I know who I'm killing. It is a fine gift, my lord. You honor me. <sighs> you, knight. Fernand, was it? It's kind of cool to see them address, like, in-game items and things that happen. Like, on our characters, we use the Draco shields on ourselves to give us defense. But for them, it's just like, yeah, I'll give you this. It's super-duper rare. Hold on to it. It may save your life. Yes, my lord. You said the name of the Deliverance's new leader is Alm, correct? And that he is of common birth? There is no mistake in this. None, my lord. Clive and the other fools believe he is Myson's grandson. <laughs> what nonsense. What, what are those things sticking out of his ears? One is born either noble or common. This destiny cannot be changed. Has a sheep any hope of leading wolves? No. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, Fernando, calm down with your... Boner for bear cuts or bear coots. I'm not sure how his name's going to be said, but he's just like, oh, yes, I love it so much. Truer words were never spoken, Lord Bracoot. Still, I am surprised at Sir Clive. Tales of his exploits have spread as far as Regal. How could so celebrated a leader make so amateur a mistake? The deliverance has no future now. All of Zophia will soon belong to the Empire. Renea. Yes, Lord Burkut? I have a promise to make you, my dear. I will succeed His Majesty Rudolph and become the next Emperor. I shall rule over the Valentian continent as I was meant to. And you shall be my Empress. Does this please you? I do not have words. She doesn't seem very happy. It has begun. 
I pray this Alm fella makes the battle at least halfway entertaining. Seems like she actually likes him, because she was, like, smiling during the dance, but, like, he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, as you guys said, we can deploy as many people as we have, but that's because there's so little, uh, units in the game. So, we have some archers to deal with. We have a lot of cavaliers to deal with. And he has the Draco shield, which we can obtain. Oh, the Draco shield isn't a usable item in this one, it's something you equip. That's kind of neat. All right, well. Yeah, I, I, I have no arguments here <laughs> how everything's positioned. We do have doors, which I don't know if we can break those down or they have to be opened or what. So I'm just gonna make my entrance through this way. We can climb up here to take care of the archers, or we can charge up front. We have a lot of options here, honestly, and I'm probably gonna screw half this up, so... Oh, forgive me for doing so. Hear me, worms of the rebel army! You have done well to make it this far, but you have no hope of defeating me! Now, Slade! Take the cavalry and run down every last one of those wretches. Oh, I didn't even notice Slade. Doors. To open a door, go around behind it and select the door command. Oh, that's why she's here. They want me to go over here with her, open the door, and then run in with other soldiers and kill the archers. But I don't think we can quickly enough. Or does it want me to, like, take a cavalier or Allow something, me. like Clive, and run around and open it? I don't really see much of a point to opening it, aside from, like, a different little, uh, how should I say it? Like a slightly different entry point. I mean, if we go through here, we can be murdered on our way over, which is a problem. <laughs> but I think I'm going to try this maybe a bit of a gutsy strategy, and I highly doubt it's going to work, but why not? Okay, yeah, never mind all that noise. Tobin can just kill them all. Mom's got nothing on me! Whoa! I feel light as a feather! Skill is definitely something you needed, buddy. Plan's working quite well. Oh, except for when he misses. <laughs> Which he does very rarely. I'm surprised he hasn't learned the uh, bow skill on this yet. That should be enough. Wow. Yeah, Tobin's good again. <laughs> Or finally, I should you say. Okay, come on, everyone, inside. Hey. Oh, shit, I didn't... Alm, please don't. Oh, no, Alm's gonna put himself in danger. That might have been a real bad move. Oh, they're not charging. Okay, good, we're right out of range. So, Tobin, you think you can handle him? Very easily. You both are a little low in the uh, hit rate department. We're going to heal with her? There we go. Oh. 
And now we wait while they all shoot at Tobin. <laughs> Who's dodging a lot of arrows. One more. Oh. It sucks. I know, I'm, I'm using the most effective of strategies right now. The most fun of them. There we go. The best part is when the other one comes to attack, I can just have Claire kind of rush up and get him once he's low on health. In the meantime, I'm just having everyone heal up. Because that's kind of what we need right now. Charging from this front way may not have been the best idea. Because it's taking a while, but... I think we'll get there in no time at all. Tobin's literally saving this map. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do here. Gonna move her up here, and he's gonna t she's gonna take out this archer. She has a pretty... Oh, shit, I just realized. It's gonna get a chance to hit her first. Oh, no. That is not good. I think I just messed that up. <laughs> because... Yeah, he does 14 damage. And she has 5 defense. Which is the perfect amount to kill her. So, unless Tobin can step up to the plate and do this right. No. Okay, yeah. We're gonna Milo's turn wheel that. <laughs> that was a bad choice. Very poor. Stand back. No, we can do, though. Come at me, no, we can. Never mind. <laughs> we can actually kill him with Cliff. There we go. Level up for Cliff. Every Sorry, I shouldn't be skipping those quotes. Nothing I apologize. Stop me. Just have it. Nothing can stop you. Except for everything. Especially that guy. You have, like, no hit against him. It's better than nothing. All right, I say we should probably start drawing them out now. Um, especially these mounted units. And this is where you come in, Lucas. Allow me. Do the thing you know best. I've got this. Um, not yet. <laughs> in fact, nearly not at all. Just leave it to me. Heal Alm a little bit, because he needs it. And Faye leveled up. I feel the mother's protection. Wow, she has a really high attack stat. <laughs> Stand aside. <laughs> oh, Forsyth's voice. I know nothing about him, but just like it's, huh? Stand aside. He's so like. He has such a Hello very me. kind voice. I guess I'll say. Fine, twist my arm. So, now's our time to be extremely careful with how we handle this. So, how many of them... Do any of them have two range weapons? Except... None of them except for the archers, which is fine, actually. But Claire can't do much in this situation. Because she will be destroyed. So, she's just gonna be up here for now. <laughs> As for Faye and the rest, we're just gonna have to... Actually, Gray might be able to. Nearly. He nearly can kill him. I might actually just try and go for this. Thing is, I don't think Gray can take damage like everyone else can. I 
recognize you? You're those bumpkin brats from the village in Ram Woods. Huh? I'm surprised he remembers from that long ago. This is the night you tried to kidnap Selica. You whelps deprived me of a prize I most desperately needed. Hear me well, runts. My name is Slade. And today, I in turn shall deprive you of your lives. Um, he's holding a goddamn lightning sword. What do you think you're gonna do? Yes, he hit twice. It's exactly what I wanted. Your lightning sword unlocked the thunderclap combat art. You can't double, but what if we use the art? Yes. Um, go for it. Finish this bastard. Oh, I doubt he's dead. Yes. Impossible. This is neither the time nor place for me to die. What's this? Slade has been defeated? Damned rebels will rue this day. I must withdraw. The rest of you are ordered to hold the castle at all costs. Really? Wait, does that mean if you manage to get to him without killing Slade, you could technically fight him? He's standing on, like, a recovery tile anyway. Guess I'm not getting that Draco shield yet. Oh well. Wonder if he was recruitable. <laughs> I highly doubt it. That was close. It was close. All right, so next, um, what do I want to do here? I want to get everyone who's way too squishy out of range of the, what's your defense? You have seven defense. That's actually not a whole lot. And Forsyth, you kind of suck. <laughs> Just a little. I mean, you do the same defense thing that Lucas kind of does, so, I mean, not really, though. Hmm. Alright, Python, at least I can have you... No, you can't. Never mind. You can't do chip damage. What am I saying? Or actually, you know what I can do? I can take out the Archer with Cliff. Because of Lightning Tomes. Lighter. No. We could do this again. Lightning Tome is so good. All right, but there are some people we need to evacuate. Uh, where's the nearest archer? It's this guy over here, but he can't move that far. Python, you two like no damage, man. Good gravy. Hold on, aside from you two. Oh, you're actually fine. If you two both hit, he dies. If not, that's actually still fine, because I think... I think Faye has the defense to survive. See, he does 11 damage. Faye is... yeah, Faye will survive. It'll be even more helpful if she manages to hit. There we go. Well, that's it for our units. Nice dodge. That was very stylish. He was like, step to the side. I forgot they counter. I completely forgot about that. I don't know why, it's just engraved in my mind that they don't. But from here on out, it's going to be a pretty easy cakewalk since the other boss ran away. Or to say, whatever his name was. You can't touch me! Yeah, from here on out, it's just going to be clean up, basically. Thought 
you're a clever I've noticed all the Fire Emblem games I've played so far. I actually have not played like a pure Fire Emblem game on the No, Path of Radiance you couldn't save mid-chapter. So never mind. So we have a knight. And an arcanist, but they're not anywhere near us and apparently don't want to even bother approaching us. So that's fine in itself. Can't kill either of those. Oh shit. Tobin, you've been doing so good lately. Curve shot? I don't want to give the kill to Python. I don't think I will. Let's just heal and finish up our business here, basically. I think I'm just gonna give this kill to Python, sadly, just to be safe. Why did I think he would hit him? Why would I ever think? Okay, there we go. It was you or me. Even though you have very bad strength, you have the uh, speed to double him at least. I think I am. Just heal and move on. You want some? It's hard being this good. I think Gray's becoming a slight bit too powerful. Um, what was that? There we go. That's what I needed. <laughs> I think even if all three of them hit Gray, they can't kill him. As long as they all have the same attack value. They'd rather go after Lucas than Alm? I guess because Alm would probably kill him, wouldn't he? I expected that. <laughs> you know, what's their range again? I'll give this one to Claire, because she's been doing nothing all battle. This is a map where she can't do much, since she can't really ferry units around or anything like that. You bore me. Be gone. And then this one... Uh, what's this curve shot Tobin got? Targets the enemy's blind spot with high accuracy. Gets plus one might and plus 30 hit. Oh, nice. Can't double either way. Let's try it. I just want to see it. Oh, it actually curves. That's cool. I knew we could get Tobin up there. Oh, man. Look at these muscles. Who wants to touch him? Tobin has gained access to the sniper class change. Good. Um, I guess there's another tier to everything. Give it up. No. I think I've been neglecting Alm a little. Then again, he did get a bunch of levels earlier. Yeah, he's level 7. He'll be fine. Here, Alm, just stand over here. I just want to get rid of this guy. He's kind of in the way. Everyone levels up like crazy in this game. I love it. I can tell I'm getting stronger. Oh, he has another support with Cliff. Now we can see what was up with Cliff before. Hey, Cliff, what's new? Are you kidding? I thought I told you. Yeah, yeah, no small talk. Guess I forgot. Or else you're doing it on purpose to get under my skin. <laughs> I really can't stand when you do that. Yeesh. 
Do you want to talk about it? Maybe you need a hug? <laughs> yeah, the supports aren't really as high quality as they are in the um, mainline games, but in a way, and I know it's kind of weird, but I actually kind of prefer it because a lot of the characters have a lot more uh, dialogue in the actual story. Don't push me. Not all of them, of course. A lot so far has just been uh, Gray and Tobin. And Cliff every once in a while, I think. Well, I think that's because Gray and Tobin are the only mandatory ones, so they obviously get more. Maybe I'm imagining things. Because, now that I think about it, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't, uh... If you did not talk to Cliff and Faye, they would not have joined you. So... All right, well, he actually has some... What's your resistance? It's only two. You could get destroyed if you got unlucky. Because even if I put... I don't know who I could put where. I'm sure he'd survive, because it's all physical except for one. And that one does not outspeed him by any means. So we're going to go ahead and do that and hope we can... Actually, this is pretty pointless, but whatever. <laughs> Wait. Ooh, Claire is one with Gray. Hey, you, Claire. How's Trix? Salutations, Gray. I fare passably well, if that's what you're asking. Still, a shame you are not Ulm. A visit from him would have lifted my spirits. Wow. That is, that's something. When someone walks up to you and you're like, hey, what's up? And that person's like, too bad you're not this person. I wish you were instead. <laughs> Ouch. Tell me how you really feel. But then again, roses with thorns are the ones I enjoy tending best. And does the budding gardener think cajolery makes the flowers grow? Caj... Cajol? I don't know that word. <laughs> you have no shame, Gray. And I have no time for empty words. Now, if you will excuse me. What? Wait! Turn Sheesh, down. man. What's her problem? Turn down super hard. <laughs> Still, that's really mean. Like, even... I know she's a noble, but someone walking up to you and going like, Hey. And then you go, I wish you were someone else. Let's see what else we can do. Um, kind of put myself in a very difficult position right now. But I think. Where's the. Oh, he's the caster. Okay, we can actually deal with this then. If I have Alm Charge in, I think... No, I don't quite want that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move you out of the way. We're gonna get Faye over here to heal you. Because we don't need her doing anything, anything else right now. Uh, Gray... Can stand here. And probably... No, we can't take him out just yet. Hmm. Oh no, Alm can go over here. Well, whatever. You can just go for it. And now Gray can attack him. Probably should have done that in the opposite order. Saved all some health, but that's fine. Now... I didn't really plan this far. What's your defense like, kid? That's good enough. Actually, is Alms just better? Yeah, he has 12. They only have 11 attack. Except for this guy, who's scary. Python, you just get back for now. 
Oh, Silk and Faye have a conversation, but... We're not gonna do that right now. My... All right. Oh, really? That's his choice. I mean, that's fair, but... Is that knight really not gonna move? Oh, there we go. He's moving. <laughs> you can't touch me. The knight designs don't look half bad in this game. Okay. Well, now we can take care of some of the troublemakers from afar. And Gray can do this just like I wanted. And that makes it very easy. Not for him. Uh, you know, we'll just have all do it. Why not? What? I just realized he doesn't do any damage. I I should have looked. <laughs> Kill before you're dead, yeah? Uh-oh. That's not good. Hmm. What can we do here? Well, with a curve shot, we could do slightly more damage. But in the end, this is all going to kind of come down to... Oh boy. We're screwed. <laughs> Let's turn wheel that once more. Actually. Come at me, fools. So yeah, I am going to do this. No doubt about it. That wasn't a bad choice. I can do this. But instead of having Alm deal zero damage, we're just going to kill him with Alm. Oh, the skills are so that cool. I mean, it's still not like the crazy skills from other SRPGs, but it's definitely something. It's a step in the right direction, to say the least. Stand back. Allow me. Huh. Nothing will stop me. Fine. The mother walks with. Just leave it to me. Yeah, these two want to talk to each other, so I'll just let them. Hello, Faye. Oh, Silk. We seem to keep running into each other here on the battlefield. Yes, well, I was hoping we could get to know each other better. Well, how else were you supposed to build support, silly? There are so few of us women fighting alongside Sir Alm, after all. And there are many things I wish to talk about that aren't for the ears of men. Well, um... I don't think that kind of friendship is for me. Sorry. Huh? I'd rather spend time near Alm than stand about gossiping. No offense. What? Anyway, good luck, I guess. What in Mila's name just happened? <laughs> You're that obsessed with Alm? You can't even have friends? That's kind of weird. I don't know. What, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> That's really weird. I mean, I understand wanting to avoid like gossip, but it's just like I would rather stand around person than be near you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going back to heal, which is fine. Okay. Oh no, oh, no he, <laughs> they both missed. That's not good. Forgot uh, those heal tiles grant a void, don't they? Just say the word. Oh, he's so close to being able to one-round him. Here, Python, I'm gonna put you to use for once. If you hit, that is. There we go. And dead. Thanks to Cliff. No. We could do this again. Oh, and Toby, do you think you could finish off that archer? It's kind of a lucky shot if you do. Require two lucky shots, actually. Or I could have just used his skill. Oh, it's a bummer. Sure, why not? Um, I'll just leave things as as is, and we'll get it with all my guess. Here you go, all. 
There we go. And that finishes the map very, very slowly. Oh, so I'm probably going to cut around this a lot because this map took me a while, I'm going to be honest. I'm not like the fastest Fire Emblem player, and it's been a while since I've played Radiant Dawn, honestly. Uh, I'd become pretty quick, I think, when I was playing that game, but here I'm trying to learn everything and manage everything, so excuse me if I'm a bit slow. That was a lot of fun, though. <laughs> It's more fun when we barely escape with our lives, right? I don't feel the same, but all right. Whatever you say, Cliff. I did not use Clive and Forsyth at all. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <sighs> Pathetic. The Chancellor is all talk. What shall we do now, my lord? You're already calling him my lord? You've known him for like three seconds, but still. We cannot hold the castle with my detachment alone. We must retreat. Fernand, you stay with me. We'll join up with our main force in the forest. Yes, my lord. You have made an impression, Ohm. Yes, you have. I like him. I like him as an antagonist a lot. Desai's forces are retreating. You mean... We won? Yes, Ohm. We won. You killed everyone in the castle. That means we won. Zofia Castle can finally return to the hands of her own people. We really did it! We did it! We freed Sophia! <laughs> the boy from Ram shall kiss my hand and thank me for securing this victory. Ew, gross. <laughs> A jest only, I assure you. You were wonderful, Alm. I was hoping- I was actually hoping Alm would say something like, Ew, gross, actually. <laughs> this victory proves you have what it takes to lead us. This victory wasn't mine alone. I share this glory with all of you. Except for Python, and uh, Clive, and Forsyth, who are all surprisingly pretty useless. Sure, but hold on a second before we start throwing roses around. Desai and Slade both got away, remember? Tobin, you sure know how to take a squad on someone's big moment. Forget who got away. There's still plenty of reason to celebrate. Gray is correct. True, it is deeply regrettable those two snakes managed to elude us. But regardless, we have retaken the castle, the symbol of her kingdom. Was this not the Deliverance's primary goal? Indeed, it was. I know this war will continue as long as the Empire desires Sophia. But this victory is a sweet chalice. And right now, we should drink deep. Clive couldn't have said it better. We fought for this. We earned it. Now let's take a moment to enjoy it. So then, shall we go inside? Yeah, let's go inside. Our friends in the castle will be most eager to meet their deliverer. Deliverer? Come on, you make me sound like some kind of hero or something. Hey, wait! <laughs> deliverer? You make him sound like the milkman more than a hero. You got an award Zofia's champion, awarded for liberating Zofia Castle. Man, that took a while. Like... That's how long it took. It took me 40 minutes to clear that. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to head inside the castle next episode, actually. Thank you guys for watching. I'm probably going to have to edit this one a bit more than I thought, because uh, it took a while just to get through everything. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you like it, please leave a like. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Riding out.